What's up? This is Simon back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a landing page for free using Mailer Lite. So this is the landing page that I'm going to show you how to create in this video. It's a landing page where I give away a free checklist in exchange for an email address. Giving away something for free is one of the best ways to get new leads and grow your email list. And that's exactly what you can use that landing page for. And the cool thing with Mailer Lite is that you can use their free plan to build landing pages. So if you don't already have a MailerLite account, you can use the link down below in the description to get yourself a free MailerLite account. And once you're all set up with MailerLite, we'll get started on our landing page. So to start creating our landing page, we go to the top here and click on sites. Then you have the possibility to create a landing page and a website. For what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the landing page builder. So we click on create. And then we can give the landing page a name. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Um, I'm just going to name it um, lead magnet checklist. So um, that's not what people will see. That's just for you so that you know um, whenever you have multiple landing pages, which landing page um, is for what type of lead magnet or what type of subscriber. So then we click on save and continue. So now we have to assign a group to our landing page and um, you have the possibility to have multiple groups for different audiences. So if you have subscribers that are, that are interested in photography and other subscribers that are interested in videography, you may want to do two different groups and then um, use these segments to send them different kind of content so that you don't bother people um, with content that they're not interested in. But if you, as we have just created our account now, we only have one group here. So we're just gonna select this group, and then click save and continue. All right, so now we see a couple of different templates that we can use. You can change the view here to 48. So you see all the different templates on one page. And um, they don't have the possibility to just use a blank template where we can just start from scratch. So you kind of have to choose one from there. But I'm going to show you how to delete everything and start from scratch because that's what we're going to do now in this video. I'm not going to use any of these templates because we're going to create something very simple. But if you like any of these templates, you can just go through there and then choose whatever is suitable for what you will be using. Now for, um, I'm just going to use some random one because we're going to delete everything anyway. So I'm just going to use this one. And um, we have a preview here. So we can just click on use this template. And now we are in the landing page builder and you see that um, this is quite a large landing page compared to a simple one. So you can scroll down here and you can actually change everything on this template. You can change the text here. So if you click on this part, you can change everything on the right side. But, get, but again, as I said, for this video, I'm just going to create a very simple landing page. So I'm going to delete everything here. So how I do this is by going to actions on the top here. And then I'm going to click on remove content blocks. Then just to confirm that we want to remove everything, we have to type in remove into this bar here, into this field, remove. And so that we allow this one to remove everything. Now we are still left with the header and the footer. So you can either decide to keep the header and the footer um, to maybe add some, some more links like social media links or your logo or something like that. But for this video, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to delete the header and the footer as well. The way I do it is by go, going to the top, um, to the bottom right corner and click on cancel. It's a very, it's very small at the bottom right corner. So I click on cancel and then I go to settings on the top right. And here we can decide if you want to include a page header or we, uh, and also a footer. So I don't want those. So I'm going to just untick those. So we are left with a, with a blank canvas basically where we can start a landing page from scratch. So to start adding stuff to our landing page, we go to the right side and click on blocks. And that's where you want to um, pull everything into inside of your canvas to, to build your landing page. And again, we're going to build something very simple here. So I just want to have an image of my checklist that I'm going to give away and then a simple sign up form. I'm just going to um, look for that. And um, so what we're going to use here is just a sign up form. So we go scroll down to forms and then we drag the sign up form 
in our canvas here. And so this is the basic layout and that's basically all I'm gonna use for this tutorial. It's just an image here and then some text and the, the field where they can enter their email address so that it will land in our email list. So now we want to change the image first. So what we do is we click on this image and uh, you, have to, you have to do all the changes on the right side. So to change it, just go to image, change, and then you can upload different images. I already have uploaded my image, which is the cover of my YouTube optimization checklist that I give away to my audience. So I'm just gonna tick this one and click select. And this will um, import this picture inside of my landing page. Now, I also wanna change the text here. So I wanted to say um, free. So to change it, I have actually have to go to the right side here, heading one and type in whatever I want to change it to. So I'm gonna just uh, name it free YouTube checklist. And then I can also change the text here on the bottom. And I'm just gonna say, um, use this checklist to rank your videos on YouTube. Now, obviously you wanna spend some more time to actually optimize your checklist for whatever you are giving away or for whatever your business is. But just for this tutorial, I'm gonna not spend too much time on it. I'm just gonna show you some features here um, of this landing page builder. Now, um, the way uh, you want, to, the thing is you want to also optimize everything for mobile. So I like to just um, put the text in the middle. So don't, I don't like it to be on the left side here because that will be uh, will look a little bit um, not so good in the mobile version. So I make sure that everything is here in the middle so I can change it by clicking align and then align center. And now it's already aligned to center so this looks fine right here. Um, let me just show you why I do this. So if I click on preview on the top here and then we can see how our landing page currently looks like on desktop and on mobile. So on desktop, it currently looks like this. And then if you click on mobile, it looks like this. And if I actually have the text on the left side, it will look kind of stupid. So that's why I always keep the text in the middle also on the desktop page. All right, so let's go back to our landing page builder. So I wanna change a couple of more things here. So. Um, if I want to send out personalized emails with the names of my subscribers, I also have to ask them for the name. Now I can do this by going on the sign up form here. Basically, if you wanna change anything of this block, you just click on the, the pen here and then on the right side, you can change everything. Um, so on the button, I actually wanna change the form. If you click on the form here and then I go to add field, and then that will take me, uh, that will give me a new field. So we have email and name now. So I just drag the name on the top here and now they can actually enter their name as well, which allows me to personalize my emails a little bit more. So I'm gonna save this right here. And then I go back to the settings of this block. And um, I also wanna change the color of this subscribe button. I also wanna change the text. So to change the text of the subscribe button, again, I go to the right side and then I just change the button text on the bottom right here to um, download because that's a checklist they can download them and the button action uh, we just leave that on success page because that's the page where they get to after they have entered all the details here they get to the next page which we're going to edit in a moment again i click save and then again i want to change the color of this uh, of this button here and the way I do it is again by going on the block, clicking on the pen icon on the top here, and then going to settings. And that's where I can change all the different content settings. So um, if I wanna change the button, I just go to the call to action on the bottom and then click on the button here. And that's where you can change everything um, with the color and the font and all of that stuff. So I just wanna make it red. So I'm just gonna choose red here and that's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna click save. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. Obviously, you can play around a little bit more with everything, make it look even nicer, and you can add footers, headers, and more sections on the bottom here. But in my experience, like very simple looking landing pages turn to convert the best into new subscribers. So I just tend to just keep them simple. Now, the next thing um, we want to change is the success page. So again, when people 
um, enter their email address and their name here, they're going to get to the next page, which is the so-called success page. And we can change to this page by going on the top here, and then we click on success page. And there's already some, some text on this page. Um, so I'm just going to change it a little bit. Um, I'm going to just want it to say, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to delete the second heading here. And I'm just going to say they should check their inbox. Check your email inbox now. Because what I'm doing is when they enter their email address, um, there will be an automatic email that will be sent out. I'm going to show you how to set everything up um, later in this tutorial. And they will get uh, the checklist sent to them uh, via email. So that's why I'm s telling them here to go check their email inbox. So that's all I'm going to change on this side here. And now I'm going to click Save. So again, just to check that everything looks co correctly, I'm going to click on preview on the top here. And I also want to see that it looks very good on mobile because a lot of people nowadays are browsing um, with their mobile phone. So you want to make sure you optimize it for mobile and for, um, for desktop. So this is what it looks like on desktop. And if you have the free version of uh, MailerLite, you always have that MailerLite logo on the bottom here. You can't really change that, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, um, on mobile, it looks good as well. Just the, the picture here and then free YouTube checklist. Use the checklist to rank your videos on YouTube and then they can enter their details. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So I can click save and publish. Okay, so now we just have to adjust some page settings after we have created our page here. And um, now the first thing is what domain you want to, to appear the page on. Now, if you don't have your own domain, um, you have the possibility to just use Mailer Lights domain, which is subscribepage.com and then just change the text here. But what I would suggest is that you actually use your own domain because it looks a lot more professional and you have a lot more options um, what you can name it. And I'm not going to cover how to add your domain to MailerLite in this tutorial because it really depends on what um, hosting or what um, domain provider, where you have gotten your domain, where you have registered your domain. So um, I'm going to leave a link to another tutorial video of MailerLite's team um, where they explain exactly how to add your domain to um, your MailerLite account. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the MailerLite's um, domain here, which is subscribepage.com. And I'm going to change the text here to YouTube checklist. All right. So now I can also change the icon that it shows whenever somebody clicks on my, on my um, landing page. And that's what you see on the top here. So for MailerLite, it's, it's this, um, this uh, speaking bubble here. And what I'm going to use is actually just the same picture that I've used also for my landing page, which is the cover of my checklist. So I'm going to select this one. And that's what it will look like inside of the browser. It doesn't really matter um, too much, but um, if you can kind of brand yourself within everything, it really makes sense. So if you have a logo, just put in your logo here. Okay, so SEO settings, um, that's the page title is also what people will see on the top of the browser. So right now you see it's my name and then Melo Light. And when they are on your landing page, it will show whatever you put into this field. So for me, I'm just going to put in free YouTube checklist. Now page keywords, it doesn't really matter because you don't want um, people to find your landing page through uh, search engines. Um, you're just going to um, like drive traffic to it anyway, but you can put in whatever you want here. I'm just going to put in YouTube checklist and that's fine like that. Then you can also put a page description, but um, it doesn't really matter. And uh, now you can index your page in the search engine or you can, or you, I mean, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to allow it now save and continue. Okay. So now our landing page is set up and you see here's our landing page and it is currently um, published because here it says unpublish and um, I have double opt-in off. What that means is um, if you want people to to confirm that they actually want to be subscribed to your list, you have to turn this on. Now, I don't need this, I don't want this, so I'm just gonna turn this off so they don't need to actually um, confirm again that they actually want to be in the list. 
Um, if you want to have that, the advantage is that you don't get any um, people that are uh, sending in fake email addresses because uh, when they do, they can confirm their subscription. So you only have real email addresses that you um, that you send emails to. But I've I've done it uh, for a long time without double opt-in, and it works fine for me. So I'm just gonna not use the double opt-in. And one other thing, if it says publish somewhere around here, you need to actually click publish uh, so that you can actually find your landing page. So let's actually check how our landing page will look in the browser. So we just copy this one here. You just click um, copy or you just click on the copy URL here. And now let's paste it in our URL browser. And that's actually how our landing page is looking currently, which is very simple, very easy. and let's now check if it actually works. So I'm going to, just going to type in my name here and then an email address. So let's type in my email address to check if it actually will be put in our group. Now download. Okay, thank you. Check your email inbox now. Now let's check in our mail line account if we actually got a new email subscriber. So to check that we go to subscribers. Um, yeah, this is my account to subscribers on the top here. And check and we see we have a new email subscriber and that's in the group in the only group that we have right now. If you have multiple groups, then um, you can check uh, the groups here uh, and you see what group that uh, contact got added to. All right, so that's exactly how you can create a landing page inside of Mailer Lite. This was actually a part of my entire Mailer Lite tutorial where I explained from start to finish how to set up your entire email marketing system inside of Mailer Lite. So if you want to see that entire tutorial, you can click on this video right here. Also, if this video was helpful to you, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you still have any questions about Mailer Lite. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.